So Francis Ngano is back October 19 <laughs> MMA against oh MMA Pereira uh it's first bout with PFL since losing his uh, his nine month old son he says yeah quote all my life I fought for a lot of different purposes and on October 19 I'm going to fight for a greater purpose Now he's still open to boxing though. He just uh, listen. He wants to fulfill his obligation with PFL and PFL. Yeah, doing something magnificent with him though as well, because they've like kind of made him uh, PFL ambassador for Africa to help scout African talents, you know, in the continent. So discover them while they're young, hmm. you know, train them, give them a like facility to train at least. Because if you sometimes I always wonder how can we have over a billion people in that continent and then we don't really bro, right, we, we should bro, be winning, let, let we should be winning Olympics, is. bro. Yo, let we me do. tell you what the problem is. You see, the fact that countries like Jamaica, United States of America, they are consistently pushing out the the top runners during the Olympics. You know, the world record holders, the the Usain Bolt, the um, Gatlins, you know, all these guys that come out from these countries and in the entire Africa. We maybe have one or two people that come number five in the world. You know, it speaks of something. And what the problem is simple: training regiment and equipment. We don't really have that. The Kenyans and the Ugandans and the Ethiopians that come first in long distance running is because part of their terrain, where they live, requires them to be, you know, walking, run a daily basis. Their daily routine involves climbing mountains and you know, l- long hikes. So they are used to it. That's why they come first in all those long distance races. But as for other sports, you know, boxing, um, MMA, how come we don't have a lot of Africans coming out and thriving in these sports? It's because we don't have the equipment and we don't have the training regiments. We don't have the technical trainers, you know, and we don't have the um, equipment. Pretty much, that's it. That's it, bro. Most people are, are hustling to do something else. So nobody really invests in those types of amenities you know good training sports facilities who has who has money for that when people are, are, are still trying to get food on on the table in some cases right so yeah unfortunately that's what it is but hopefully this arrangement between Francis Ungano um PFL even Kamaru Usman Kamaru Usman has invested a lot in you know in MMA in Nigeria you see many guys from many other parts of Africa coming to compete in Lagos you know in Kamaru Usman's events we'll see where it leads to in South Africa they're doing it big their MMA they, they have this big MMA um, company EFC you know but we'll see we'll see how it goes yeah man it's crazy I, I, I can't wait I did think this fight plays out because Ferreira is a very I say he's a dangerous guy bro ah, man. Watched, Francis has watched, to be very careful I've man. not watched him fight before but I went to look at some of his highlights I'm, he's I, very I, strong I, I, me thing is i'm rooting for francis by default but this ferreira guy i don't know him and francis his last few fights were in boxing so i think he would need to have gone through some grueling training to get back in shape for that mma you know mma situation so yeah i don't know man we'll see how this goes i hope hopefully win lose win, win or loss it doesn't really affect things going forward and he's still able to push <laughs> yeah man it's gonna be interesting um yeah i can't wait guys uh like the video share, subscribe you know we'll give you guys nothing but strength of the bank right